Alright, this is Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 25, where students are going to be expressing whole number fractions on a number line, and they're going to be talking about when the unit interval is 1, and that's a fancy way of saying, how do we handle fractions that look like this, where the denominator is a 1, and so that's what this lesson is going to be all about. So we're going to begin with this big old huge gargantuan picture here. And the thing I want you to begin with um, is we're noticing that one whole is a circle. So here is a circle, like a pie, and that is equal to one whole. So over here, when we look at the fact that the circle, so this is one whole, has been cut into eight little pieces. The fact that it's been cut into eight intervals means the denominator is going to be 8. And we have all 8 pieces, so that's 8 out of 8. So that's 1 whole. So 8 out of 8 is equal to 1 whole. And sure enough, we can see that 8 out of 8 equals 1 whole. So they're the same, same size. This has been cut into one interval, you know, one big old piece, whereas this has been cut into 8 pieces. Now I say this has been cut into one piece. Really, it's just... It hasn't been cut. It is one piece, and we have one out of one. So we could think of this as one out of one. Now moving way over here, we can see we have two circles. So we now have two holes. But each hole has been cut into four pieces. So that means our denominator is four. Our denominator is four. Now how many fourths do we have? Well, we could count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 fourths. So our numerator is 8. So 8 fourths is equal to 2. If we wanted to, we could do over here. 8 eighths is equal to 1. Now down here, this big old huge thing, well, each circle... Each pi is equal to one whole. So this is one whole, 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 one whole. So we have eight of these things. Now each of these holes is one piece, one interval. It has not been cut into eight pieces or four pieces. It's just one piece. So our denominator is a one. And our numerator, because we have eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our numerator is eight. So we have eight holes. That's how I say this, eight holes. And that's equal to eight. So we, in this one, we're supposed to fill in the missing whole numbers in the boxes below. Uh, below the number line. Rename the holes as fractions in the boxes above the number line. So when you have two holes, that's 2 over 1. When you have 8 holes, that's 8 over 1. Or 10 holes, it's 10 over 1. So we can finish this. 4 holes is equal to 4 over 1. 6 holes is 6 over 1. 6, 1. And then 12 holes is 12 over 1. So what would be 0 holes? It would be 0 over 1. So we want students to start to recognize that for any whole number, like 7, that's going to be equal to the fraction 7 over 1. And our last slide for this video, explain the difference between these two fractions. So if we had two fractions, 5 fifths and, I mean, 5 over 1 and 5 over 5, 5 ones or 5 wholes and 5 fifths, what's the difference between these? Well, let's remember, this means the whole number has been cut into fifths. The number of pieces or parts in one whole. So this means the whole number has been cut into five pieces. 
So if I wanted to, I could draw a hole. There's one hole. And it's been cut into five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And then the numerator means shade in <laughs> this many. So that would mean, okay, we're going to shade in one, two, three, four, five. Hey, look at that. I shaded in one hole because I shaded in five-fifths, which is equal to one hole. Whereas five over one, five holes, means each hole number, and I'm going to try and make it the same size as down here. Here's one hole number. Um, it's been cut into one whole piece, so that means I'm not supposed to actually make any slices. It's just there's a hole. So here's one hole, and this says I'm supposed to have five of them. So this means I'm supposed to have five-fifths. This means I'm supposed to have five holes. So that means I actually have to have one, two, three, oh goodness, four, five, and that's how many I get. So one, two, three, four, five. So five over one, my goodness, where am I going to write that? Five over one is equal to five holes, like five dollar bills. <laughs> five one dollar bills, that's equal to five, whereas this is equal to 1. A lot of times students are not entirely sure the difference between 5 over 1 and 5 over 5 and that's because teachers and parents we just give our students a bunch of rules to memorize. Really what we want our students to do is to really understand what fractions mean and then they'll understand the difference between 5 wholes versus 5 fifths. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 25, where students are learning that, oh, 3 over 1 is equal to 3, and 5 over 1 is equal to 5, whereas 3 over 3 is equal to 1, and 5 over 5 is equal to 1.